I greet you in Jesus' wonderful name. I hope you've got your cup of tea, your cup of coffee. It's a beautiful day on the farm. And uh, the birds are singing in the trees. And Jesus is still on the throne. I just sense that some of you are taking a lot of strain at the moment. Maybe with uh, politics, maybe with finances, maybe with your health. Maybe you're disheartened. Maybe some of the Christians have let you down by their standards and you're just losing hope. Never, ever give up. Never give up. I want to tell you the story about Noah. Noah was a man just like you and me. Okay? He was minding his own business. He was actually a farmer. And God told him to build a boat, build an ark that would save him and his sons, his four sons and his wife and their wives and all the animals. And he built that ark. You know, when he built that ark, he was the laughing stock, not only of the town, but the whole area. And it took him years and years to build that ark. Do you know that there'd been no rain coming down to the earth up until then? What used to happen is in the evening, there was like a mist would come up from the ground and would irrigate everything that needed water. So it was absolutely ludicrous, ridiculous. Why are you building a boat? For what? But God honored Noah. And what happened was Noah and his family went into the ark with all the animals and God, the Bible says, closed the door. God closed the door. Then it started raining for the first time ever on earth. And it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And slowly the water started to pick up. You can imagine the people were banging on those, uh, the side of that boat. Please let us in, Noah. Too late. My dear friend, be sure that it's not too late for you or for me. We need to act on what God tells us to do. Okay, so if we look at um, uh, Genesis chapter 8 and verse 1, after the flood, it lasted for 150 days. Then the raven was sent out. He never came back. Then Noah sent out a beautiful dove and he came back with an olive leaf in his beak. And the Bible says in, in Genesis chapter 8, verse 1, Then God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. Isn't that amazing? God never forgets. And then we go to verse 16, And then the Lord spoke to Noah and says to Noah, Go out of the ark. Okay, it's time now to open the door. Okay, the rain stopped. The water subsided. The mountains have come up now. Now it's time to go out by faith. Everything done by faith. For some of you, I'm talking to you right now. God says it's time to go out of the ark. What does that mean, Angus? I don't know. Maybe you need to make a new change in life, a new start. Maybe you need to increase your business, even though things look pretty gloomy. Maybe you need to get out of that deathbed, sir, and say, I am going to walk by faith. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for that person lying in bed right now, the doctor said, there's no hope for you. Go home and just make yourself comfortable. In Jesus' name, get up out of that bed and walk. In Jesus' name. And I know that God is touching you as I'm speaking to you. Please write to me and tell me who you are so that I can rejoice with you. And then he says in verse 16, the Lord to Noah, he says, I want you, here we, let's have a look at it. Verse 16, he says, Go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you. Bring out with you every living thing and all the flesh is, that is with you, the birds, the cattle, every creeping thing that creeps on the earth so that they may abound on earth. Now listen to this. The Lord says, be fruitful and multiply on earth. It's time to be fruitful. Everybody else is petrified to do anything. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for you, no man will stand against you. God bless you. Goodbye.